Fabricating chicken part two. I already did one. The phone rang while I was doing that one. So let's move on to the second one and see if we can't do it better. You want to cut your skin, get your legs off first. And uh, this will save you a ton of money versus going out to the store and buying chicken that's prefabricated, cut up already. section there. I'm sure your knife is good and sharp. The dull knife is definitely not going to get the job done. find the cartilage there. Cut right through the cartilage. There's your wing. Same on the other side. There's that. And back down to the breast. Remove your skin first, which isn't that big a deal. You just kind of lift it a little and let the weight of the chicken help guide the knife between the meat and the skin. Eh, it might be an easier way, but that's how I've always done it. Unfortunately, I have the camera in the wrong spot for really giving you a good view of this. But when you get it just right, it just falls off just beautiful. Skin I don't really find much use for other than maybe going alligator hunting, maybe. I don't know. Now there's kind of a center here, part here, cartilage. You want to go right down the side of it. There is a wishbone right in the very front here that some people trim it out. Sometimes it makes it a little easier. Same for the other side. two chicken breasts. Now I like to leave a little bit of meat on my bone because I'm going to take them, put them in my crock pot, add some water to it and make some chicken stock which is good for making chicken soup. Now as far as cutting everything else up size to fit, cut the little ends off there, throw that in the pot as well. 
and find a bone right there, or the cartilage. Pull that one off. And these guys, just split them right down the center. And there's two parts of your chicken, chicken wings. Another two there, and then this. We're going to do the same for this, like we did the whole chicken breast area. Peel the skin right off. Well, you could leave the skin on if you're going to do them like as quarters and then cook them on the grill or something. But me, I like to cut them back that way. I can use you know my chicken thighs for making soup and save up a bunch of drumsticks and and a barbecue a whole bunch of them at one time. Now the best way I find to do this is peel it back as far as you can with the knife and then just eventually you'll reach a point where you just have a little tug of war with it and pull it right off just like that. Do the same for this one. Look, there's a little line almost right here you could follow. Divide that there. And follow that line right there. And it goes right through it. So you got your two drumsticks, you got your two thighs, you got your chicken wings, and you got your breast. I think I spent $3.88 on that chicken. Four of those alone are like $5 and change, $6 and change, depending on where you shop. But there you have it, fabricated chicken. And that's what it looks like. Two chickens completely fabricated. So now we're going to stick them in the freezer. We got our chicken wings there, our chicken breast there, our thighs right there, and our drumsticks right there. And we're also going to get a thing of soup, or, well, it could be soup. But we're going to throw some water in there and some other stuff, and I'll show you that when I get it ready. Used all my scraps to carrot scraps and celery scraps, and got my chicken carcasses in there. We're gonna add some water, and I'll show you what it looks like come tomorrow. Now here we are, several hours later, and I should have turned this on before I uh, did this, but basically, I took what was in here and strained it through this right here, and that's what I ended up with. And that's a good broth base for making soups or sauces or gravies. And uh, it was all from stuff that would have gotten thrown away. And here you have this wonderful, flavorful liquid. Until next time, bye-bye.